I, I've got to ask you, uh, in the midst of all this, this show is called America's Hope. Is hope expunged because of all of these developments? No. Uh, I, firstly, you know, I, 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 would, I would say to you, I, I've been practicing law in some of the most screwed up situations on earth. And, uh, you know, I, I would never give up hope. Um, I think that um, we have to wonder that in the Mideast, perhaps the situation is so dire uh, maybe some leaders will come out of this that can change uh, the perspective. It certainly can barely get any worse. Um, and in terms of geopolitics, um, I see the possibility of uh, uh, a paradigm shift coming in that um, unless we are going to go back to a Cold War forever stance, we have got to have a, a new analysis of some form of dialogue with both China and Russia. We simply can't allow ourselves into this deep freeze. And, and China is an incredible, there's an incredible opportunity for good. I've studied China all my life and uh, um, I, I think Xi Jinping is unfortunately something of a throwback to Mao, but still there is tremendous amounts we can learn from the Chinese uh, in terms of, of uh, culture, technology. We, we cannot close doors to uh, between China and Russia, you know, uh, uh, maybe a quarter of the world's uh, population and, and certainly uh, a very hefty part of the economic throw weight of the world. We have to find ways to talk. We have to find ways to uh, um, allow a dialogue to take place. And uh, I'm hopeful that can happen.